Hi, I'm Diane Alston, an entomologist with Utah State University. Um, today we're going to talk about box elder bugs. They are a native insect to the western U.S. as well as their primary host, uh, the box elder tree. And that's the reason that they're here and can be very numerous. Um, although they are a native insect, they uh, can become very abundant. They are not um, an economically damaging pest in most cases, but more of a nuisance pest. Box elder bugs are generally not a garden pest for either your vegetable garden or your flowering plants. However, there are a few uh, types of situations where they can become a problem, such as feeding on ripening peach fruits where large numbers mass on the fruits and they can cause uh, a damage at that time. But one of the reasons why they are so abundant is that nothing likes to eat them. They have a repulsive uh, odor and flavor to them and so they're not um, very attractive for predators such as birds or other insects to feed on. Okay, so what do box elder bugs eat? They primarily feed on the developing seeds of female box elder trees and other related species such as other maples, ash, or other two other common trees in this area that they feed on. These are the uh, trees that have the seed pods that hang down and the young nymphs, that's the immature stage, and the females will feed on these during the spring and early summer. And this is uh, where you can see large numbers of small red, uh, brightly red colored bugs feeding on on these trees and, and massing around the trunks and base of the trees. In their youngest stage, they look like little tiny red dots and they can often be mistaken for mites and ticks and other types of arthropods. Well, just like people, the box elder bugs like to spend winter in a warm place and that's the reason they're trying to get inside your house. The problem with box elder bugs is that they like to congregate on the sunny or south facing uh, walls of buildings, especially in the fall as the adults are preparing uh, to uh, overwinter and also again in the spring when they come out and are active and beginning to mate and, and then the females starting to uh, lay eggs on box elder trees. But this time of year in the late summer and fall you can see them accumulating on the sides of, of buildings and a common issue of them be, uh, becoming nuisance pests indoors is that they can gain access through cracks and crevices. So a primary way to keep them from entering is to make sure that things like door thresholds are in, in good condition to block their entry to the house. Also around foundations where cracks mm -hmm. and crevices are common, that's another uh, major way that they can, can get inside. Vacuuming is a very efficient way to remove box elder bugs from inside the home. Um, it's best not to smash them because they do leave a stain and they can stain your upholstery and carpet um, if smashed, but uh, just uh, vacuuming them up is a really simple and effective way. Okay, after you, um, you vacuumed up the box elder bugs and they're in your vacuum bag, um, to make sure that you kill them and not just allow them to come back out through your vacuum hose, it's important to place the bag inside of a plastic bag and then you can uh, seal this off and put it in your freezer for um, overnight and that will make sure that all the box elder bugs are killed and then you can put it back in your vacuum and use it again. An environmentally friendly way to kill box elder bugs is to use just common liquid dishwashing soap and mix one to two teaspoons per gallon of water and then we'll put this in a hose-in sprayer and spray it on the wall where they're congregating. The reason the soapy water works is that the box elder bugs have a waxy layer on their cuticle or exoskeleton and the soapy water disrupts that and causes breakages where, where they will desiccate and dry out and die. The soapy water is only going to uh, kill the, the box elder bugs that it contacts at that time and so there's no residual effect to it. And so depending on how heavy your populations are, you may need to uh, spray again every few days during the time period when they're most abundant and active. Okay, to sum it up, box elder bugs are a native insect to the western U.S. Um, they're very abundant here, uh, at least in part because there aren't many predators or other animals that like to feed on them. Um, they generally do not cause harm except in a few situations where they may feed on ripening peach fruits but their primary concern is that they are a big nuisance pest when they get inside your home. And so we've talked about some few, a few key ways to prevent their entry into buildings and to wash them off the outside with a very non-toxic soapy water solution. 
There are other more toxic pesticides that are, are very effective against them, but we don't recommend uh, their use because you'd have to reapply them very frequently and they can build up residues of toxic chemicals on the exterior of your home where your family and your pets uh, spend time. So it's best to uh, go with something environmentally safe such as the soapy water or washing them off with just straight water or using some kind of uh, physical activity such as vacuuming or sweeping them off.